Right. Let's address the obvious. 2025 G580 with EQ technology is a clunky name. Thankfully, Mercedes is phasing out its EQ branding, like EQS, EQE, etc., and reverting to the familiar letter plus number scheme. This means the new electric G Wagon is called the G580. Conveniently, there is no gas powered G580, so we can refer to the EV simply as the G580 moving forward. The G580 looks much like its gas powered counterparts, the G550 and AMG G63, which is intentional. While there are a few subtle aerodynamic tweaks, they aren't immediately noticeable. The most obvious distinguishing feature of the G580 is its slim rear cargo bin, which holds a charging cable where the spare tire would normally be. However, you can opt for a spare tire instead, so even that detail isn't a surefire identifier. The G580 remains a body-on-frame SUV, with identical mounting points whether it's a gas or electric model. However, the frame differs significantly to accommodate a 116.0 kWh battery pack. This battery, positioned between the frame rails, replaces the latter sections of the frame and acts as a stressed member. It's designed with cells spaced out to include structural reinforcements connected to the frame. Enhancing torsional rigidity is the 127-pound underbody armor plate that protects nearly everything between the axles. Mercedes states that this component, fastened with 50 bolts, is constructed from an intelligent mix of materials including carbon. While this seems a step back from claiming a full carbon fiber skid plate, a look underneath the G580 reveals a glossy black weave that appears to be carbon fiber. Regardless of the exact materials, this underbody armor is built to withstand severe rock crawling impacts to protect the battery pack, as breaching it with a boulder would ruin any trail adventure. Mercedes also tested the battery pack under conditions combining torsional stress with rapid temperature changes, simulating off-roading scenarios. Imagine climbing a mountain with maximum suspension flex for a mile, heating up the motors and battery, and then plunging into a cold creek, suddenly cooling all the components. Such conditions challenge the watertight seals and overall durability. Mercedes is confident that its engineers have subjected the G580 to more rigorous and creative abuse than any customer likely will. In fact, some of the G580's capabilities might be understated. Its rated weighting depth of 33.5 inches exceeds that of the gas models by 5.9 inches, but Mercedes admits the electric G can go even deeper due to its thoroughly waterproof powertrain. The current limiting factor is the HVAC air intake, but it's likely that Mercedes will eventually add a snorkel to this intake, enabling even more extreme water fording. We can confirm, thanks to the French weather, that the G580 handles water impressively. Mercedes organized a trail drive near Montpellier, France, featuring rock climbs, water fording, and mud, all made more challenging by relentless rain. While rain has derailed other off-road events, here it just meant the climbs were more treacherous and the water and mud were deeper. Despite the conditions, we proceeded as planned. We ventured out in pairs, with one driver in AG550 and the other in AG580. Traditionalists might be dismayed, but the electric G580 proved to be the superior off-roader. The G550 retains its locking front, center, and rear differentials, but the 579 horsepower quad motor G580 eliminates the need for differentials altogether. The signature G-Wagon diff lock buttons on the center dash are repurposed to control the independent torque at each wheel. The middle button engages low range, which might seem unnecessary with 859 pound-feet of torque available from 0 RPM. However, the 2 to 1 gear ratio for rock crawling allows for smaller motors and reduces heat buildup during intense off-road use. The motors also use extra lubrication oil to dissipate heat, similar to the Porsche 993, assisting the coolant circuits. This oil never needs changing. You can switch between low and high range while coasting in neutral, a handy feature that also enables flat towing the G580, making it a luxurious companion behind your RV. Additionally, the low-range capability means you can boast that your vehicle has four transmissions, earning you bragging rights at any off-road park. To the left of the transmission range selector is the G-Steering button, which allows the G580 to handle tight turns by dragging the inside rear tire and overdriving the opposite corner to rotate the rear end. On the trail, 
This feature enabled the G580 to maneuver around hairpin turns that required a two-point turn from the gas-powered G550. To highlight this capability, Mercedes set up a dirt slalom course with cones placed unusually close together. The G580 navigated through it with ease, needing barely more than a car length to pass through the gates. Even in confined spaces, such as a dead-end trail, the G580 can turn around using the G-Turn feature, activated by the third button on the dash. This function drives the motors on either side in opposite directions, spinning the car on its axis. To use G-Turn, you engage the feature, pull the steering wheel shift paddle in the desired direction, floor the accelerator, and keep the steering wheel straight. This can be counterintuitive, as any steering input will cancel the system. However, if done correctly, the G580 can perform two full rotations, more than enough for tight spaces like a parking garage. The G580 also mimics the live rear axle articulation of its gas-powered counterparts with a De-Dion rear end, similar to the setup in the e-sprinter. The De-Dion design combines aspects of a solid rear axle and an independent suspension, with centrally mounted motors driving the wheels via half shafts and CV joints while a C-shaped solid axle connects both sides. This minimizes unsprung weight while maintaining the articulation valued by off-road enthusiasts. When one side goes up, the other side goes down. Like other G-Class models, the G580 forgoes air springs, featuring a fixed ride height that still delivers a commanding ride. On pavement, the G580's top speed is capped at 112 miles per hour, with the motor spinning at 14,500 RPM. To enhance efficiency, the G580 operates in rear-drive mode whenever possible. Mercedes had to account for scenarios where a driver might be cruising at 112 miles per hour using only the rear motors, encounter a hill, and suddenly need the front motors to engage seamlessly, matching their speed to the road speed. Impressively, the G580's motors can accelerate from 0 to 14,500 RPM in just 300 milliseconds. Despite the burst of power required for this transition, engineers affirm that selectively disengaging motors remains the most efficient strategy. While the EPA range hasn't been confirmed, Mercedes anticipates the G580 will achieve around 240 miles. The first G580 with EQ technology will be the $168,000 edition one. If that seems like too much of a bargain, consider the Manufacture Customization Program, which offers a variety of unique exterior colors, 20,000 options. After all, no one wants the embarrassment of discovering their neighbor has a G-Wagon in the same standard obsidian black metallic hue. In the decades since its 1979 introduction, the G-Wagon mutated from a hard scrabble 4x4 into a luxury icon, but even its most ridiculous offshoots, looking at you, Maybach G650 Landaulet, were fundamentally capable machines. The electric G not only lives up to those expectations, it expands them. For instance, after experiencing G-Steering's radius carving wizardry, we asked a Mercedes engineer why the gas models couldn't do that too. He conceded that someday they probably will. 